Hey everyone, this is Tim from Your6 Studios. Today in this video, I'm going to go and show you how to format your PlayStation 5 external hard drive on the PC. So let's go ahead and jump to the video right now. So it's very easy to format your hard drive. Now you can do this on the PlayStation 5. If you go to storage and then go to USB extended storage, there should be an area to format it on the PlayStation. Now, if you want to format this on the PC, Plug in your drive to one of the USB slots. Then go to the bottom here and go to File Explorer. Then let's go on over to this PC. And this is where you can see your connected devices and hard drives. Now locate your external hard drive and then select it. So I just plugged in a USB drive to drive D right here. Now let's select it. And then we can find it on the left side of the screen here. So let's scroll on down until we see the drive D. So here's drive D. I'm going to right click on this, then go to format. Now we want to go to the file system and make sure it's EXFAT. Select that and then go to start. Now, when you go ahead and do this, you're going to get this warning that pops up that says warning formatting will erase all the data on the disk. Do you want to continue to format? Select OK. Then it'll erase all the data and nothing will be in this folder anymore. Now take your USB hard drive and plug it into the rear USB slots on your PlayStation 5. Then go up to settings and then scroll on down to storage. And you should be able to see your USB extended storage under here. And then you can go ahead and transfer games from your console storage over to your USB drive very easily. So let's go to console storage now. Select a game and app, and I'm going to move it over to one of my external storage drives. So let's go to Minecraft and select X on this, and then select Move to, and then go to Move, and I'm going to move this to my M.2 SSD. So you can only store your PlayStation 4 games on an external drive, not your PlayStation 5 games, and you have to transfer them back and forth to your console storage to be able to use them. I would suggest getting an M.2 SSD. These are getting to the point where they're relatively cheap and you can play your PlayStation 5s off of them. You don't have to transfer any games. So hopefully this video did indeed help you guys out. If it did, go and leave a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below for more tech help videos coming up next on Your 6 Studios.